And in the latest in the story, actor Mohan Lal has spoken up and he has said there were several statements uh, which alleged that I have fled. I want to clarify that I have not gone anywhere because of my personal issues. I was not in Kerala because of my wife's surgery. I had to be in hospital. I have changed the release date of my film. It's not right to release at this time. The Hema Committee report is welcome. I have been before the committee twice. So that's what Mohan Lal uh, has said amidst the Me Too storm in Bollywood. One of the biggest superstars, biggest faces of the Kerala film industry has uh, spoken out. My colleague Neetu Raghukumar is with me on the broadcast. Neetu, uh, just put this into context, what Mohan Lal has said. This is the first reaction coming in from Mohan Lal. He was the president the education of a real movie artist. So today he has spoken up about this incident and he said, it's not that I have ran away or fled, but I had certain personal issues. That is why I couldn't uh, come out and speak about this. At the same time, he said he welcomes the HEMA committee report, but he went on to say that the entire Maya the HEMA committee report or, or whatever has been said in the HEMA committee report. But right now what they are seeing is that all questions are only posed to the Association of Malayalam Movie Artists and he went on to say that uh, when asked about whether there is a power group because this has been mentioned in the report, he said he is not aware of any power group. He is not part of the power group and uh, let him, let uh, the names be revealed. He went on to say when asked, uh, he, uh, even before uh, the media persons could ask questions, he said that uh, he uh, he will not be able to answer all questions because the investigation is underway. The police is investigating. So uh, uh, when asked specific incidents, he said he won't be able to speak about that. He won't be able to give answers. It is a government machinery and it is the... Uh, police that has to give answers and he went on to say he went on to uh, tell the people that uh, just because of this don't destroy the industry this is an industry which everyone has worked hard for so these had been the broad statements of uh, uh, Mohan Lal as far as the HEMA committee report and the allegations so far but now that Mohan Lal has spoken what is the likely impact of what he's saying he's say, saying that I've even uh, postponed the release date for my upcoming film yeah, that's, uh, that he was just, uh, he was mentioning that it is not right to uh, release at this uh, juncture. He has postponed the release is what he said initially uh, while uh, speaking. See, the implication so far, the, the biggest names of Malayalam industry, especially Mamuti and Mohan Lal, who had been the two stalwarts of the industry, had not spoken out. And Mohan Lal, more so everybody was questioning because he was the president of the Association of Malayalam Movie Artists. Mm. And now he has come out and spoken about this. But even while you're speaking about it, these are just these are broad general comments. But mm. if also telling or trying to tell the people uh, that, see, this is... Uh, 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 an association is being targeted. Anyone who is responsible should be punished. And for that, the government machinery and the police is there. Why is it that all questions on this are directed only at the Association of Malayala Movie Artists? So that is something which uh, he uh, he repeatedly asked in that saying that when the entire Malayalam film industry is responsible or is answerable to this, uh, why is it that only... Uh, these people or this association is being questioned or all questions are directed at them. And um, he also went on to say that that's when they discussed, they realized, uh, they, they discussed, legal opinion was also sought and uh, they discussed with the seniors in the industry and everybody felt that at this stage it is better that the entire committee resigns and that is how they came to the decision of the resignation of the entire governing body okay. of this association. Thank you so much, Neetu, Neetu Raghukumar there telling us about what uh, uh, Mohan Lal has said and the implications of uh, the Malayalam superstar finally breaking his silence and his allegations of Me Too. There are other reactions also on this big story. Let's dip in. The kind of complaints that we've seen from the Malayalam film industry. What are your basic concerns as far as these complaints are concerned? No, I'm very happy. I congratulate Parvati for coming forward and you know uh, joining this at least there was one girl who had the you know uh, interest to safeguard the other women and uh, six years back i had spoken regarding this uh, to support uh, chinmayi and not only chinmayi what was happening in television industry also in south 
So I wanted to, you know, tell all the heroines not to budge, be strong. You have been selected. You have been chosen for your ability, for your performance, not for anything else, not for favors. So you know, our television industry also used to be like one corporate office, nine to six. So I'm very happy. Something is happening. Buzz is there. Media's are buzzing. But I hope something really works out, and we bring strict, a very very strict law, so that you know, at least. The industry will change. They'll be a little bit scared, and not to you know uh, uh, the innocent girls to, to be get cheated. So all this can be safeguarded. Have you f have you faced any issues yes, in your? I've faced a lot as a child molest. I've faced. I've gone and I've gone and uh, because fortunately my mother had taught me good touch, bad touch. So when I was ten year old, I went and told my mother. Then my mother came and kicked up a big racket with that uh, producer. Then I was thrown out of the film. And I was doing a Hindi film, and uh, I was thrown out of that film. Police has to collect evidence. The investigating, special investigation team has to collect evidence. Uh, collection of evidence doesn't mean that they are going to collect evidence in favor of the victim alone. They'll collect as much evidence as possible. They'll weigh it, and if it is found that she is not trustworthy, she is not. Uh, she is not a believable person, and whatever allegations that has been made are false. Definitely, they can file a refer report. So, let them collect evidence. We are ready to cooperate. That's our stand for the time being. And uh, you should also realize, you should also understand that these allegations are coming after 15 years. Where was she? Yeah, actor Jay Surya. Uh, the movie name. Pigman, location Kerala, Todubura, exact place name, that 2013 releasing movie, yeah, I'm um, uh, joined as a junior artist, that movie, so many fake news are spreading against me, I'm a, um, a honey trapped girl like that, my identity and my dignity, everything lost like. They have to investigate into the matter, they have to file an FIR. That is the legal obligation. If they are not doing and they are hiding that matter, that information, that itself is an offence. Now the government have committed an offence that they have been hiding uh, the series of offences, uh, hiding and they are trying to save the culprits in this case. And uh, after the report came out, there are so many allegations uh, came out. Uh, now there is a series of allegations leveled against um, C. Mukesh. The um, UDF opposition has been demanding uh, for the removal or resignation of the report. The, the, the government and CPM is protecting.